Well, I had to move my desk out to the yard. I think my other cars were getting jealous that I was shopping for more cars. But I figured I needed to teach you guys how to... I think he's coming. He's getting closer. What is up, guys? Welcome to the shop. I had to just finally escape from my RX-8 chasing me down because I was threatening it with buying another RX-8, which is the exact reason that we are here. Everyone always messages me, the rotary guy, the guy that owns RX-8s, the guy that has a bunch of RX-7s, rotary trucks, the whole deal, builds these lovely screaming Dorito engines, right? And they send me a link to a car and they say, hey, is this a good deal? Should I buy this? So this video is me finding cars that are for sale and telling you what my thoughts are and should you buy it or would I buy it. So let's start at the very bottom of the barrel, the worst RX-8 I could find, which is honestly not a bad option. We're going to consider the whole realm of RX-8s and talk to one at each different level. $600 could get you this lovely 2004 Mazda RX-8, 195,000 miles. I didn't even screenshot the good pictures of this thing, okay? Because we don't need to spend that much time on it. Six speed, we don't look at automatics, but automatics, it would kind of apply to everything I'm gonna say, but I just would never buy one. Bad seals will not run. Second rebuild time for a third. We got new tires, coil packs, etc. 600 bucks. It's a 04. It's silver. Obviously, it's a parts car in my head for 600 bucks. It's not complete. It's missing some bits. If it's in rough shape, probably wouldn't really wanna go. 195,000 miles. It's been rebuilt twice. That engine, when you rebuild it, is not really going to be worth rebuilding. Parts car, it's got a transmission, brakes, the whole deal. If you need one, go find it. This would be a great one for that. But if you are on a super budget and you need to get a cheap one, you could probably suffer through this car and fix everything if you want a small project. But I can just tell you, I wouldn't do it because the next car on the list is way worth your time versus that one. 2004 Mazda RX-8, red on red on red on red. I love colored interiors. It's the best except for the red steering wheel because it always turns brown with my dirty hands. 132,000 miles, manual transmission. Price is oboe, open to trades, runs if push started. Six-speed manual. So this car is a prime example of one that's never had an engine put in it. My guess, he yeah, doesn't say it, never had an engine put in it. But if it runs when it's push started, that engine is most likely rebuildable. And that means that you can go and test the rest of the car. You can feel out the suspension. You can feel out the power steering. You can feel, you know, does the fuel pump work? Does it rev? Does the exhaust have a bunch of weeks? You can run your scanner on it and check the OBD2 port, you know, and that's huge. Okay. This engine's probably rebuildable. Now I wouldn't go buy this car and expect to have reliable transportation unless you plan on parking at the top of a hill every time you shut it off especially if it just runs when push started and not hot versus cold. Things to consider. The next one, stepping up our game here, okay? $3,000. Got some brown plastic dip on the wheel. Look, I can already tell from this picture that this thing is super riced out. I screenshotted it, so I know what the ad's going to say. But tell me you wouldn't just swipe left on this thing and not even look at it. Daily driver, six speed, no AC, e-brake does not work, faded paint, need money, no exhaust, just don't, just don't need the car anymore, bought me a truck. If you see this post up, it's still available. I mean, homie, if you're daily driving an RX-8 with no e-brake, it's a manual, so it's probably going to roll away. I've had cars roll away here, and especially an RX-8 with no exhaust. Dude, an RX-8, heck a rotary with no muffler, is literally worse than the like HKS trumpet exhaust on a VQ 350Z trying to do donuts in a parking lot. Like it's just put an exhaust on your rotary or a turbo, please. I wouldn't even consider buying this car unless it was like a thousand bucks. And obviously he's not going to take that much. Maybe he would, maybe you show up for a thousand bucks. He needs money. Or if you show up with like some truck parts for his truck, he'd probably be into that. But I wouldn't have even considered it. I really only clicked on it because I was making this video, but the picture, no D's wouldn't buy it. Talk about faded paint, though. This is a Shinka. It's red, or the cherry red, whatever color you call it. This thing's got white interior, right? Shinkas come with ivory white interior and the fancier wheels. He wanted $6,000 for the car. First word of the ad. At least he knows what he has, guys. Respect this guy. Ugly. Got it. 
Prepping for a wrap, rebuilt rotary Mazda RX-8, 109 miles in climbing. It's a daily driver. Premixed first full tank of gas. We'll continue to premix with Ida Mitsu and premium gas only. No hot or cold start issues. New clutch installed with model only motor and seals. Everything works. Just need paint. Mazda paint likes to fall off. Mazda clear coat likes to fall off. So just be prepped because these cars, the clear coat likes to come off. My wing has no clear coat on my Nordic green car. If he's putting Ida Mitsu in this, he's had the engine rebuilt for 6000 bucks. I would say that's a fairly fair price for a Shinka. The chassis has 145,000 miles on it. You're going to have three to $4,000 in rebuilding the engine. So it's already done for you. However, this is a perfect example of don't buy somebody's car before they have shaken it down. 100 miles on the rebuild, it could leak. It could, the clutch could come apart. There's a lot of things that can fail. Before I would even be comfortable selling a car, I would at least want to put one one good oil change through it, you know, two to 3,000 miles, make sure nothing's going to break, make sure you fix the fuel leaks, make sure you fix the oil leaks. So that's the only thing I would like prep you for this car is like, hey, he needs to drive this thing more. Fortunately, it's a daily, so he should still be driving it. But if he's got documentation of the rebuild, pictures of the inside of the engine and can prove it, then I'm all in. Six grand is what he's asking. I'd probably hit him with like, 5200 bucks and see what he says it's keeping with the same theme of faded paint and rebuilt engines we've got a red one 04 looks like te's but probably fake te's he's an rx8 owner we don't have lots of money i have fake te's on my car for the track it's fine it's at least got the gt like the aero package which is sick he's plastered up the roof and the hood which is probably where the clear coat's coming off but let's look at the mods list because this has a big old mods list Motor has 30,000 miles. Chassis has 151,000. First thought, did he swap the motor or rebuild it? Lots of brand new parts. Blows cold AC and heat. Engine case, spark plugs, coil pack, water temp gauge, oil pressure gauge, oil temp gauge. We want to know what's happening in our car. This guy. No check engine light, which is good. Rebuilt motor 30,000 miles ago. Okay, so the reason I specify and want to mention that in this video. When you rebuild an engine, you carry over a lot of the wear from the previous life of that engine before it was rebuilt. When you swap an engine from a lower mileage car into your car, say somebody crashes their 50,000 mile RX-8 and you put that engine, that's their original one, in your car that has more miles, I would rather have the Mazda's built engine versus the rebuilt one because it has less wear on it than the rebuilt one. So that Mazda one, if it breaks, I can rebuild it. The rebuilt one, if it breaks, you can't quite always just rebuild a rebuilt engine does that make sense manual fan switch for better cooling coilovers cat delete will start up every time hot and cold power steering is out you could buy this one and go buy that 600 dollars one at the beginning and fix all this stuff most likely i'd say it's a pretty fair representation of an rx8 i forgot to screenshot the price but i would be comfortable paying four to six thousand dollars for this car based on the condition of the rest of it so go look at the interior i would probably if you're in the market for an rx8 you can message this guy and see what's up you know, obviously the clear coat's fading and maybe you wrap it or this, that, and the other, but that's just my opinion. Just to spice things up, I found a 1JZ swapped car in my search for RX-8s. He's parting it out, which honestly, I would have kept it all together because that'd be fun. But the thing that sucks about swapping RX-8s is like making the gauges work and the dash in an RX-8 is like real hard to, unless you put like a Haltech screen in there or a Holly dash, you know, if you LS swap your car, it's hard to get all your gauges working and I appreciate not having gauges everywhere all up in your face it's just not my thing but go buy that one now this is probably the best car that i found for sale as far as price to value of what you're getting for the car so 2004 mazda rx8 shinka edition first off shinkas are 2006 so he's got that wrong but that's fine Seventy-three thousand miles on this thing and it looks mint from all the pictures again shinka so white interior not my jam but some people like that thing i'd rather have red homie copy and pasted the brochure for the shinka into his description which is like super not good for me because i'd want to read about like the things he's replaced on his car or what's broken um but if the mechanicals of the car have been maintained as well as the appearance of the car most likely this would be a great car for seven grand, super fair price. He already dropped the price from eight thousand. Maybe he'll take sixty five hundred bucks. But this would be a great car for you to start your RX eight journey with. It's got seventy thousand miles on it, so it could go, you know, a hundred thousand and blow up. It could go to one hundred twenty thousand and blow up. You don't know. And I say blow up, meaning just like 
fatigue, loose compression, etc. Like expect to rebuild your engine at 100,000 miles and then be surprised when it goes further. Um, but this would be a great project car for somebody to buy, somebody to enjoy, you know, take it to the track a few times a year, put your three to 5,000 miles on it a year as a fun car and just enjoy the heck out of this car. That color is beautiful in person. Black cherry mica, love it. Just ditch the white seats. So I had to sprinkle in a nice one. Now we're going to jump back to a little bit of a like worse condition cars, but honestly, the best condition mechanic special deal you could find. Okay, so I would judge this deal better than the Shinka, but like the cars are worse condition. Cars, plural. 2004 Mazda RX-8, manual transmission. Like I said, we only shop for manual cars, guys. I don't like automatics. I have two Mazda RX-8s. The gray one is a parts car. Black one is not running. Needs a tuned ECU. I don't know what that means. Has a new motor with receipts. Send me cash offers or trade. 3000 for the black one. 1000 for the parts car with a clean title. First off, if one car has a title and the other car doesn't, I would run both VIN numbers. Make sure you're not buying something stolen. Second thing, if one doesn't have a title, it's probably been crashed or flooded. And maybe that's why it's not running. Flooded meaning underwater, not flooded meaning excess fuel in the combustion chamber. So, if the gray one has an engine transmission full drivetrain and just doesn't run, okay, but the black one has fully rebuilt engine and he's got receipts and paperwork and pictures to prove it, then this is a great deal. I would offer him 3000 for both of them, show up with you and your buddy and your trailers and pick them up and just like surprise your significant other when you say, hey, I'm going to go buy an RX-8 and you show up with two of them. So, because you could definitely make one really good car out of this and just get rid of the old one. And it would be a car that, like, you know what's done to it. Obviously, if the engine has been rebuilt, you need to, you know, inspect it. Make sure that it's actually been rebuilt. Hence the pictures, the receipts, and who did it. But uh, this would be a great deal to get a good car and have spares. Especially if you want to be a track car, you want to be a drift car. You got a spare chassis. You smash your quarter and tail light into the wall. You got extras. Great deal. Go buy two cars for the price of one. Now... Let's jump to my favorite RX-8 that I found while searching for RX-8s. 2004 RX-8, 15 grand. Check out that cowl hood. Z06 wheels and a shine lip. Looks like it's got shine skirts. It's got the Mazda Speed style wing. And guess what the best part about this is? Do you see hiding under that Renesis engine cover? That beautiful V8. And we have a 60 LQ4 Big cam, ported intake, headers, tune, big pump, Lingenfelter launch control, nitrous. This car would be a ball to take to the track for 15 grand. You can't even get a C5 Corvette for 15 grand anymore. And you could go to the track with good tires and good suspension and just smoke Corvettes in this thing. And this would be the jam. The only thing is, he says down here, cons, no AC, but they make a kit. Like, the AC, roll the windows down. It's got a V8. It goes fast enough you just stay cool, right? This next car is a little bit of a of a question. Or at least I have questions about it. Which is why I would message him. But it's a really good price. 2008, it's blue. I've never seen him in this blue. And I'm a, a sucker for weird colors like Nordic Green or Black Cherry Mica, Phantom Blue. But I've never seen this blue. And it's not Phantom Blue. It's too dark. Phantom Blue is more turquoisey, girly blue. 114,000 miles. Car has been well taken care of. 30,000 miles ago, the motor, clutch, and pressure plate were all installed new by Marion Ford Mazda. So, Mazda dealerships don't rebuild these engines. They just put engines in them from Mazda. So, it could have a reman or a new one. Has a better racing motor. You spelled racing wrong. I get compliments a lot on the metal flake and this paint will blow you away in the sun. So, that's my thing. Has this car been painted or not? I like despise vehicles that don't get completely painted. So when you like my pickup truck, it's wrapped on the outside and the inside's red, the outside's gray. You see it in the jams. I hate it. So I would make sure that this car, if it has been painted, that that's done. But for eight grand, brand new engine from Mazda. I mean, this car is good to go. Great price, especially when he says, I won't even look at rust bucket junk or oil leakers for trade then you know this car doesn't leak oil, you know it's not rusty, and you know he takes good care of his stuff if he doesn't want to have that stuff. So, very good car, eight grand, very fair price. I'm in, I just don't recognize the blue. Now, the most recognizable paint color ever on an RX-8, which will make you feel like you're going so fast, but yet, rotary, 200 horsepower, is yellow. 
This 04 Mazda RX-8, 36,000 miles, 9,000 bucks. Right in that picture, you can see a dent in the little fender arch and a dent by the taillight. Looks like the roof's a little faded, and it looks kind of like it might have been sitting outside for a while. Rare find in this modern market, 36,000 miles, six-speed manual, car can seat up to four with two suicide doors leading to its back seat. Man, I could run an OxyClean commercial or Flex Seal. Has a sunroof, four opening windows, heated seats for colder weather. The trunk is spacious along with a front and back console for further storage. My favorite part of the RX-8 interior is the like double open console in the middle. So good. And it has a phone charger in there. The only things that I will forewarn you on this yellow. Not a big yellow RX-8 guy. I think they're cool, but better have a buffer and be ready to re-clear it because that paint fades and the bumpers don't ever match. It's in Evansville, Indiana. That's north. That's Rust Belt. It might be rusty, especially if it's in, sitting outside in the snow. You never know. Those dents on the back could be from the snow plow, like throwing rocks at it. Okay? You just don't know. 36,000 miles might seem like the dream. You just found the lowest mileage RX-8 that I found for this whole research video was this one. But what comes with low miles and not being driven is deterioration. This car is 18 years old, guys. Those rubber joints in the suspension, the rubber coolant hoses, the plastic intakes on the radiator are just asking to crack and break, especially if they weren't heat cycled regularly. The next time you heat cycle them after sitting, the fatigue life, it just isn't there. So this car might be awesome and it may handle and drive fantastic, but 15,000 miles down the road because it sat and all those parts deteriorated, it might just fall apart. So will it? Most likely, probably not. But just be aware of that for all those like collector cars that just sit around. If they sit outside, even low mileage cars can really take some fatigue and it's just not the jam. But for nine grand yellow, I mean, you buff this thing up. If it cleans up real nice, do some PDR, put it on, bring a trailer. You could probably sell it for 10 to 15 grand. Just flip it. Um, but, and it's yellow. I mean, collector people like vibrant colors. So yellow could be good. Not the last one, but the second to last one, and arguably one of, I've said one of the best a lot, haven't I? Well, I guess I did pick all of these, so they are pretty good ones when the Rotary Expert guy picks them for a video. 9,000 bucks, 04, 125,000 miles. Will go up as I drive it every day, no issues, runs good, AC and heat work, six-speed manual, motor's been rebuilt, new clutch, coilovers, RPF1 wheels, intake, exhaust, BHR, ignition coils, BHR, engine mounts, BHR is black, halo, racing. Tinted windows, sway bars and in-links, sewn adapter and two-stroke tank, ECU tuned for more oil injection, no flooding, and better cooling. This car has everything done to it that you would want to do to your RX-8 if you bought it for six grand. There's easily three to four grand worth of modifications here between the exhaust, the wheels, the coilovers, all that stuff that you would do to your cheaper car, and I think it's totally worth it for 9000 bucks. You might think I'm crazy to buy a car that's been rebuilt once, has 120,000 miles for nine grand, but I think this is a very fair price. If you're looking for a nice RX-8 to just jump in and go drive, this would be that one. Obviously, he's a rotary guy if he's had it tuned for the oil injection and like pulled fuel for flooding and better cooling stuff. So you know it's been well-maintained. It's got all the fixes done to it. This is a great example of an RX-8 to buy. The last one was one that I searched and searched and searched and searched and searched to try to find a Series 2 car. So all the cars we've looked at, right, 2004 to 2008 are Series 1 with the, like, cool but not as cool front end. Series 2, this one, 2010, this is not an R3, which has the Recaro interior and they're worth a bunch of money. Even though he wants R3 money for this thing, 66,000 miles. He's got a real nice little pergola thing. That's the thing when shopping for used cars. Look at where the car's sitting and look at their house. That helps you judge the character of the person taking care of it. Um, sitting in this real nice driveway under a roof. Very good looking, well-maintained car. It's got aftermarket wheels. Just a silver base Series 2 car. Six-speed manual trans. Very well maintained, clean title in hand, DM for more info. If the post is still up, it's still available. My guess is if he's not specking out a whole bunch of stuff, the car hasn't given him many issues. It's probably bone stock. I think this is a $10,000 car, but I wanted to put a Series 2 in here because Series 2 to Series 1, there's way less Series 2s, especially in R3. Like I said, this is an R3 price for the mileage. $16,000 will get you a really nice R3 car. 
with maybe the same amount of miles and maybe a wee bit less condition. You know, maybe the bolsters have a little wear on the Recaro seats, which is super common. But I wanted to put an S2 car in here because I wanted to make sure that you guys understand, like, the S2 cars are just harder to find. The engine has more oil injectors. The engine has a better, like, oil filter location so you don't burn your hand and lose everything. And they made a lot of really good improvements to this car, the Series 2 cars, that justify that price jump over a Series 1. Okay, now do I think this is worth 16 grand? Maybe it is. Maybe it's already sold. Maybe whatever. But for what I would want to do with an RX-8, this is out of my price range. You know, I would want to just save a little bit more money and go buy a Corvette. But that's just my opinion. So, Series 2, great car. Reasonable price. Looks like probably the original owner. You know, the whole deal. This would be a good one. So with that, guys, that sums up uh, me reviewing RX-8s that are for sale. I hope you learned something. Um... Those are the things that I think through whenever I go and look at cars, you know, and scroll through, you know, Facebook Marketplace Craigslist for RX-8s because I'm always in the market for another one. You know, every RX-8 owner is probably looking to buy another RX-8 because they don't really know when the life of theirs is going to expire. Um, or they're looking for another one for parts or just shopping around to buy a car for an engine. You can still find really good deals on these cars. You can still find really good project car candidates. And I think the capability of the RX-8 plus the availability of the RX-8, it's almost like a no-brainer to buy. You know, it's like a, a 240SX was 15 years ago, you know, when you could get throwaway cars for two to 5,000 bucks that are all stock with a bone stock KA and you just go, you know, kick the rods out of them, drifting around and weld the diff and have fun. You know, that's where the RX-8 is right now. And I know everyone's afraid of the rotary engine that's going to blow up and, and whatever, but I, I think if you set your expectation with knowing that, like, the rotary engine can be super reliable, but its lifespan is shorter. You know, reliability and lifespan are not the same thing. And I would say the same when imagine putting like a F1 car engine, which I'm not going to like say that the rotary is an F1 car engine, but the rotary engine is pretty much a race car engine stuck into a consumer car, which is why it doesn't like it and why they don't last that long. You know, if you try to take an F1 engine and put it in a Honda Civic and drive it on the street for 100,000 miles, it's going to wear out faster than this rotary will. So just kind of set your expectations with that. You know, and I hope that I can help you set your expectations of what you are going to get out of one of these. But I can tell you, if you go back and watch the other videos on the channel the last couple of weeks, go back and learn about RX-8s. My RX-8 owes me nothing. I drive the crap out of it. It's been 235 degrees coolant temps it's had 270 degrees oil temps it still rips i take it to the track the chassis is amazing the interior is pretty nice and like if it blows up you can rebuild it and swap it there's plenty of other cars so with that thank you guys very much for watching i'd appreciate it if you guys go check out the other videos on the channel to learn more about these cars learn how to rebuild these engines learn about clearancing side seals learn about how to stack them you know i've built probably 30 of these here i've been around building probably way more than that been around these cars i'm pretty young but for the better part of the last you know what am i da, 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 bought my first one in college so that would be seven years ago and i'm a sponge i learned stuff trying to share my knowledge with you guys go take advantage of it go watch the other videos on the channel i would really appreciate it with that we'll see you in the next one keep it rad all right y'all so the dog's off doing dog stuff I figure I'd give you a little shop update. So we're doing all these RX-8 videos. Trust me, still working on this car. We're still building this car. Still going to get done. Just when you see the videos on it, they're all going to come out right in a row. It'll be a well-produced, you know, whole deal. A lot of stuff is going to get done in each video versus just what I get done in one night. But here's the update. We got the whole rack of pinion out. I've been doing some science on this, some data recording, um, so that we can potentially recreate that rack and pinion stuff. And then instead of going back to the stock turbo, we're going to go to a big turbo and uh, put this rear end back in it. But it's going to get, you know, restored, revitalized, brought back to life. And it'll look way nicer and it'll look totally different. But uh, we still got, you know, I got engines for days. Um, but I'm preparing to do like compression test fun video. We got Calvin's RX-8 is still getting built. But that, like I said, I'm going to film all those videos. We'll drop them all in a row make one nice produced thing and we'll get the death trap back on the road so with that definitely subscribe if you want to follow along with these builds and uh we're gonna keep playing with cars keep it rad hey should people go buy all the rx dates that are for sale yeah jump
Yeah. 